stupid idiot out of jealousy um, made sure that I lost a lot of very important videos because they thought that I live on music. And this is the reason why now I have decided today to tell you the truth about YouTube, social media, how it works and how I work. Number one, Kenya Muzima, East Africa, Mambo Niapa, Kila Kitu ni Tamu Tamu, Tamu Tamu, Tamu Tamu Zaidi. My name is Terry Proud Chocolate, and I am proud to be who I am, and I love doing what I do. No one can stop me. Let's go. Terry Nyangia. subscribe to my new channel it's very hard to build it's very hard to convince people but i'm not giving up it's my passion i love doing that extra i love coming from work and then switching into my social media accounts and seeing the progress the love and the engagements into things that i do off the reality so please do subscribe to my new channel it is proud terry chocolate I really, really appreciate those who already uh, subscribed. You are so many. May God bless you so, so much. I wish I could mention all of you's names. But please receive my blessings from God upon you. And know that uh, I am getting to know who really, really, really is with me in this journey. Who really treasures what I do with those who are coming now. the urge to tell you or to inform the ignorant ones those who think they know and they don't know because my God keeps telling me that I should remind them even if they know I'm going to tell you how I work how they work and how social media which includes YouTube works I hope after this show you will not be found under the bracket of the ignorant souls like the bloggers I see here who don't know or who forget that I, Terry Nyangia, is also a blogger. And so I can never fear my colleagues over things that I know very well. That I know better about and that I know very well that my God and me know are true or false. So whatever you say about me to make your blog sell, my dear, I'm very grateful unto you because you bring me followers. Please subscribe and support me. My people, when you see me here, 
I bet you assume that I work on social media, I feed from social media, I live on social media. I want to make it clear to you that I, Terry Nangia, have been fully employed, fully, fully officially paying tax in Germany at an engineering company that has been there for over 102 years and I am still working there. Germany is a country that speaks German. So I was lucky that the company I am working in was opening offices in Abu Dhabi and Dubai and in Hong Kong and in Panama and in Mallorca and they needed somebody who would stand in and translate and do all the English parts, call and talk to the people who have been employed in those offices out there. And I was there very ready. I took up the job and I am fully employed, receiving my salary 29th of every month. Okay? And so I don't live on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Twitter. I am only here because I love the media. If you watched my previous show, if you didn't, you will listen to it first and then you connect with this one. So, it's always good to let go and I let go through talking. I am not the kind who ignores the idiots. I speak out so they know that they're idiots so that they can change. Because if you keep telling people, ignore them, ignore them, who will ever correct them? So I am here to correct such idiots. So, recently, some idiot accused me of having become rich through his music. Then I sat down and asked myself, if I am rich through this guy's music, and he's the one who makes the music, he's the one who uploads the music day in, day out, why is he not as rich as the way he claims I am? If he claims I'm rich with his music, and yet he's the one who has all the music in his backup system and posts them officially and produces even the people who say, why is he then not rich? Why did he have to, to, to move from Lakisama Ghetto to again demote himself to Kisumu Kondele if his music makes people that rich? Did you ask yourself these things, bloggers who are who kept blogging and calling my name? You bloggers who are picking up on stuff because maybe some idiot who you don't even know how You've not even interviewed, interviewed them to, to ask them, how is this thing? How did it come about? How is it that this girl has a lot of videos in, his, in her channel, including Tanzanian stars, American stars, the great John Lennon who sang, um, imagine there's no heaven. All these great musicians, great accordé. This girl has her videos, Oyoyo and, and all those other ones, and she doesn't complain. Why is it that it's only you who has a problem with her? Do you ever sit down to think in that direction? Let me take a sip of water because today I want to try to be soft. But the Holy Spirit is already dawned in me so I can't be soft. But I don't mean it negatively. My people. You know, we have bloggers on the, on the internet who are paid. They, they, they are paid to make scandals. But what they forget is that there are people who really, really depend on God here. Me, I am saved. I'm a child of God. I grew up in the Lord. I am a child of God and I know that when God knows my heart, nobody can ever try to bring me down. And that is why I wake up and I'm still alive 24 hours. Until the day I die, you will see me here. So the more you blog about me, not knowing what you're saying, the more you make yourself look even more idiotic and give me followers. Those followers of yours that you struggle to get, you give them to me and I make use of them because I teach them. So, I do what I do because I love music. Of course, I just don't volunteer to, to promote music alone just like that. I am not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross for you because he's the son of God, your father. But I am not Jesus Christ, so I cannot always give everything for free. I realized when I was begin starting my, 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 my Facebook channel in 2015, 
and when I was uh, starting my shows and when I was starting my radio, I realized that you guys were more attracted to my love for music. And you kept asking me, sometimes I'm talking here like I'm talking now, and people keep typing, eh, Usaweka Muziki, now play some music, now play some music. These same people, when now my, my channel is being, being brought down because of that music, they are the ones who are now blogging and telling me how I am misusing people's rights. When your fingers really keep typing, typing oh, Usaweka Kuangea, stop talking. Now stop talking, play as music, please give me this and that, please give me this and that, dance for me this and that. And then you forget when now uh, somebody is coming to ban my, 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 my channel, you forget that you are the ones who caused it. I realized that most of you were attracted to my dances and to my, the music that I play. So I took it to myself to continue to play them, of course, because that is my way of, of helping them up, which I have done and everybody knows that. And actually, many are now attracted to Luo music especially. I even see our DJs here in Germany. For example, my uh, sister DJ, who used to play only Nigerian and, uh, and Yo-Yo songs here in Germany. I have followed and I know because I was the first to go online with, with, with the shows. Somebody like her now is mixing Luo music, which she never ever touched before. Why? Because she got attracted through me. And it's not a lie. It is true. Standing with the Luas, standing with the Lua music that people thought were just uh, uh, for the village and for Kenya. I brought it out here. I played it all the way from Germany. And I made it known to the world. Let me tell you how my work has made these musicians to grow. Let me tell you why they should be paying me instead of, of, of accusing me of rights. When I play a musician's song like this Lady V that I've played her song for the first time today, you will be attracted and you'll be asking, who sang that song? You keep asking me even on Instagram, please tell us who sang that song? Who sang that song? Anytime I post a clip, you ask me, who sang that song? Because I am a music influencer. Influencing means when I play a song or I dance to it, you get, you get the attention to it. You give it attention and you want to listen more to it. You want to know who sang it. You want to follow this musician. You want to, you want to have them. Musa Jakadala, who is now flying high on top, produced his first song titled Nyasiaya and did not hit. Eh, hey, Nyasiaya, Nyatibi Musa Lera Kuailando. He produced that song and it never hit. Then, when he went to this producer, who I actually told you a story about, how I picked him up with this fake music from, from YouTube long time ago. This guy said, let me produce you. There is a lady in Germany who can make this song become a hit. Hera Remo originally, those words Hera Remo, and I'm not afraid to say, because me, I am known for my truth speaking. If I would die because of saying the truth, it's okay. There is a guy called Ochinjo Jaraha. Otindo Jaraha is an, an a new artist who is less known because his producer sat on him. A young orphan who is really struggling, but started singing long before people like Musa Jakadala. He is the one who uh, had lyrics in a song, a song called Irene Obera. In that song, Otindo Jaraha talked about Hera Remo, which means the love is in the blood. But because he could not afford the fees that the producer wanted from him, the producer asked him to let that song be kept in the archives until he's able to pay, then it will be marketed. So Chinga went ahead and posted a raw song, a song that is not yet ready, that is not yet mastered on YouTube because he knew he could not afford to pay for what? The original song. And the song did not hit because of course, People don't know unless somebody plays it somewhere. People won't know. And the radio presenters in Kenya, they play the Luo radio presenters. They only play songs where their names have been mentioned. And that is why you see all these musicians, Emma Jalamo and Coca again, they keep singing, oh, who, oh, who, see what? Because these, these artists, these uh, presenters, they only play songs where they have been praised in. And that is something that is in the lure in us. I am actually one of the very few people who plays all songs even without my name. Because anyway, I have my jingles here. 
that was made for me by Madanji Perimeter, the, the great producer that people have now sat on to, and I can label my 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 channel and my 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 project in your song whether you like it or not if you ask me to play it live that is why you hear Terry Nyangia because how now how should I only be the one to give you and me what do I get from it we are all humans we're all paying bills I bet I also have to market myself if you can't market me but you want me to market you I'll market you but I also have to market myself that is the truth now Ochinjo Jaraha could not afford it and then Musa Jakadala came with a good idea and stuff. And the great producer removed some of Ochinjo Jaraha's lyrics, like the word Hera Remo, and gave it to Musa Jakadala. And then the song was sent to me at number one, first person. I have I still have it on my email. And it was on the day that President Donald Trump won over Hillary Clinton. I had had a bet with my sister Papoline. Papoline was supporting uh, Clinton and I was supporting Trump then. In a bet, people must be one side, one side. You cannot support one person, both of us. I did not sleep that night. And in the morning when I checked my TV, I noticed that Trump had won. Then I came to, to update it on Facebook and I saw an email from this producer telling me to play this song, please. It's very new and I should play it. I said, whoa! This is the song to play as I usher in Trump as the president of America. I called Papoline, my sister. Papoline was at work. She said she was coming at two. We did. A, I did a, a show uh, before that first with a tish, with some white t-shirt, and I spoke with our historian Levin Opio live here. We discussed these elections, American elections, and then in the afternoon I came again with a, with a, with an army t-shirt, a grey trouser, and a jeans jacket. Papoline included. And we danced for the first time ever, spontaneously and happily, to Hera Remo. The dance was so, so spontaneous and so natural that the song became a hit like that. And that is how you came to know Hera Remo. So how is it again that people again come to accuse me that I am doing a copyright infringement over a Luo musician whom begged me himself to, to help. Somebody like, like, like Musa Jakadala is actually running now in millions. So let me tell you how I influence such people. When I play that song like that now, like that dance, that dance had over, it was going to a million clicks. It was already at 800,000 clicks on YouTube. I did not monetize it because I don't monetize songs. When you see that I have monetized anything on my YouTube, it is my talks. Because since two years ago, YouTube now has a program through AdSense that when you reach over a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watching, like people have watched you for over 4,000 hours, which takes almost one year to reach. When you go to your private uh, creator studio, every YouTuber has a creator studio. That one you will not know if you're not on YouTube. That is why please don't talk if you don't know. There's a creator studio, a private page for the YouTubers. You will see that they've opened for you a, 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 a something called you can now monetize. But now this is how monetizing works. If you put, if you allow your video, like now maybe let me find maybe Irene Obera, this uh, uh, guy's uh, video, so you know. Hey, is it even there? Oh, they've already deleted it again. Or the, she's, he has gotten copyright infringement. But it was there, and I even have it. If Ochinjo Jaraha, if you're listening to me, if at all your video has been taken down because somebody wants the truth not to come out, contact me. I have your song complete in my archives. So, let me say like Ochinjo Jaraha's video here, A Chain Sweetheart, which he posted in 2016, 20th December 2016. Not even him who posted, it was a guy called Silas. And... This style has only 258 subscribers. Why? Because he's not known. So when you see me screaming here, I'm doing something to be able to get even 900 subscribers within four days. It is a job. But just listen. So now, if you have a YouTube, a, a video like this one, like this Ochinjo Jaraha video, yeah? And you monetize it. The thing is, 
if somebody clicks on it when you want to listen there will be an advertisement that will be running and then it will tell you skip after three seconds i hope you all know that those who use youtube if you skip this advert that guy or the owner of that video cannot get even a single cent out of it if you skip the ad are you listening nobody can earn on that video so if you let the ad run to the end if you give it time it's, they always run for like three minutes four minutes even some five minutes they are very long the person who owns this video will be given commission and the commission is only one euros one cent one euro cent or one dollar cent cent per click that is why you can have as many subscribers as 157,000 or even 67,000. But it will take you like three years to hold money from YouTube, which would be maybe up to maybe 20, 25K only in, in two, after waiting for one year or for two years, then you will get it that 20,000 for a whole year. So don't think that people who have many subscribers get money. That is how YouTube works. So now let me tell you. Do you know how these influencers, or do you want to know how these influencers that are on YouTube and tell you that they live out of YouTube, live or work? They have been so patient and have worked hard and fed you and invested their money into buying the products they use to attract you to their channels. Because you have to find a way of getting people attracted to your channel. Like me, I get ways of attracting people to my channel through my dances. But what I want them to know to do is to, to, to watch my videos. So in every dance video, when it's going to end, I have I, I embed uh, some, some link to a talk video. Because what I want you to watch is the infos I give on the talk videos. But I know you cannot come to watch the talk videos without the dancers. And that is how the music come in to help me get you to listen to my videos that I'm talking up talking in. And at the same time, to help these musicians shoot up. So, the influencers that tell you that now they're not working, they are living on YouTube, they don't directly live on YouTube, no. They advertise, for example, for hair, like a wig. But that wig, behind the camera, they had already written a proposal to a salon, maybe to Betty Charlo's salon, for example. I, I'll, I'll, I'll use her because I like her, so I can advertise for her for free. Or to Vera Beauty Parlor. Maybe they produce some wigs, like actually Vera produces wigs. So then they agree, and then Vera tells maybe me or maybe my girl that I love also, Joanna Kinuthia. I like using Joanna because I like her. I like her innocence and her realness and the way she brings her skin out there and then comes back and puts more, more trouble on it and then comes and crying again. I like her. So, somebody like Joanna would go behind the camera, take a whole day with her sisters and brothers and who, who can help her. They type proposal and send to Vera Siddika Beauty Parlor and tell them, Vera, I have a channel. My channel has around 67,000 subscribers. They are interested in makeup and hair. I would like us to work together. I can advertise for this new hairline that you have and show them how to make it, how to stick it on my head and you pay me such and such amount of money. If they come to agreement, Joanna will come to her YouTube channel, make a video, washing this hair, sticking this hair on her head, cutting the lace and everything. You will click on the video and watch, but we, because when you're clicking the video and she has put ads, you don't let the ads run to the end. She cannot earn any money. So what she will do is she will depend on the clicks uh, uh, that uh, because uh, when you stay in YouTube for long and you have subscribers, of course, you're given also a cent, a cent per click from your, from your clickers. But it will maybe make for you maybe up to only $40 in a, in a, in a, in a year <laughs> or in six months. So how Joanna will get her money is by going to Vera and giving her a bill. Now that I've done my job, it has like, 10,000, 20,000 clicks. People are already buying uh, wigs from you because, of course, Vera will get orders being that they saw this video here. And then Vera will pay who? Will pay uh, Johanna her dues. If Vera cannot pay Johanna cash for starters, for example, uh, entrepreneurs that are, that are starting, they would normally maybe give Johanna what? A wig for free to wear. 
So Joanna can now save her money, the money that she has in her own private life, from wigs. So she gets uh, supplied with wigs from this company for free, and that way it's a 50-50 thing. People see me and wonder, hey, where is that, 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 where is that wig from? Hey, and then she says there, uh, info is in my, in, in my description box. And then you go and read there and you see Vera Beauty Parlor. And then you go to Beauty Parlor, and then you get what? You get the hair. So it's a 50-50 gain. One day when Vera says, I am doing good, then I should start paying now Johanna. Then they start giving Johanna money. So YouTube directly, it will give you very little coins. YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook is a marketing platform. Completely marketing and public relations. It's called digital marketing. The public relations part is how you dress, how you show yourself. You can dress expensive, yet in your house you're very broke. You can wear the sunglasses Gucci, yet you don't even have food to eat. Because that is public relations. You have to show yourself to attract the people who follow you. You influence them to buy those Gucci's. One day, when the Gucci people see that, hey, this girl keeps tagging us, because they also have people who, have, who they've employed, and they see on the, on the internet or in their analytics that there's somebody who keeps tagging Gucci, 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 Gucci. So they look who are these tagging Gucci. Then they find maybe the name of maybe, uh, maybe uh, who else do I, can I want to promote? Miss Trudy. Then they follow Miss Trudy and then they find that Miss Trudy uh, really has, has posted so many photos on Instagram wearing Gucci. That is when they either will send her Gucci products to have if they can't give her money or tell her, okay, you want to promote more of our Gucci things? You want to promote our socks and feet and what? Then ask her, how, what is your audience? What do they love? Then if they love socks, they will send us socks. If they love t-shirts, they'll send her t-shirts. And then she'll be uh, advertising for these t-shirts and she gets a commission. That is how YouTube works. Young people, you can have even only 5,000 subscribers and you are rich. Because you know how to PR outside, how to work outside. And also, the people who give you the contracts, Okay, the contracts to advertise on those your channels. They expect you to post those products also on Instagram and to tag them and to post it everywhere, everywhere. And you have to wear it also sometimes so people see that eh, it is written maybe proud chocolate. You have to market it. That is how you earn your money, but not from YouTube channel, my sisters and brothers. Now, what does they want to tell you? How? I influence musicians to become who they are. Why musicians should be paying me? For example, that Musa story I was telling you, yeah? So through those YouTube videos that you see, that you think you've seen a click, um, they have been clicked maybe 120,000 times or 500,000 times, he doesn't earn a single cent from them. What he, how he earns from them is that now people know, okay? Now people know and people are now listening. So people want to see him live. So when people want to see him live, uh, that is where also the club business owners come in. That is how where the, the event organizers come in. That is where the promoters come in, the, 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 the money-making promoters. They'll make a banner and hang outside of their club saying, on Saturday, Musa Jakadala is coming to perform here. You who has been only listening to Musa Jakadala through Terry's channel or from YouTube, you want to see Musa live. You will go there, you will pay money. Maybe even 100 shillings, 200 shillings, 500 shillings, 700 shillings, 2,000 shillings. Things like uh, Pacho Festival or, or Luo Festival. You will even pay 2,000 shillings to watch him. This money, of course, will be divided between Musa Jakadala or these other musicians and who? And the owner of the club. Terry is still remaining in the kitchen. He's still hanging out on YouTube with no money. And people on Facebook and stupid bloggers keep telling, Oh, you are living on people's money. They are the ones who are living on my money. You get it. They'll be getting rich. They'll be flying abroad. Diaspora now knows them because of Terry. People are making photos in people's houses in America and wearing hip hop stuff and walking with, with uh, things that Kina Snoop Doggy Dog and, and Nelly wore in 1903. Now is when people are wearing them and hip hopping with them and big, big chains because they've seen light that Terry saw 20 years ago. Eh? They should be paying me. Bloggers, I'm talking to you. Do you really ask yourself before you start blogging and attacking a young girl like me, a young lady, a woman? Instead of promoting women, you are here blogging about things that you don't know because maybe they've paid you two, three hundred bob, a thousand bob that I use to, to wipe my eyes every day here to write such things. Please research, research and ask yourself.
I influence music. And once this music is known, you people are attracted to them, you forget about me. And I'm saying it officially now. If you want me to promote your music, lasmo to me and better. This thing for free, free, and then you come and, and destroy my, my, my projects. Yo, yo, Adamant, ignorant people are on Facebook just with, with bundles and, and Wi Fi. Yeah? So from Java, they are typing, 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 typing. You're typing what? You should know what you're typing, people. Know what you are typing. Investigate first. So that is how I work. I promote the songs. You get attracted to them. You go and pay to watch them. You go and pay to enter clubs to, to listen to them. You pay to watch them abroad. You pay for their air tickets to come to, to, to perform for you in, in Texas and in, and in where. Once I have brought them to Texas and I brought them to, 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 to Germany and to Switzerland and to Australia, now the girls on the diaspora, now they want to be on my neck. Now they're marrying them. Now they are, they are engaging them. Now they're feeding them with money. And now they are trying to, be, to, to friend me. me. Yet they knew me, they knew them just because I played their music. I beg, respect me a little bit, I beg. Uh -uh. Hating is not bad, it is normal. But think twice. Just lick those musicians' asses. Get pregnant with them if you want. Promote them, be their managers every day. Some, they, are, they are changing managers in the US. Oh, this is my manager. Oh, this is my manager. I beg, the most, the most successful musicians like Akode, they only have one manager, Nelly Ox. From day one, back at day zero. But these waka waka musicians, they are like, oh, my manager in the US, my manager in where, my manager in where, and they're going nowhere. What they, you hear about them, they've been demoted from Lucky Summer back to Kondele, Kosau. So you wonder where now, Abeg, how now? How now? Professional people have one manager who is known, who is doing his job. Go and ask the Kondele to advise you. Go and ask Susanna Weir to advise you. Look, Susanna Weir has been a star since 19 Patupuk. And he, she is rust rusting and driving his, her Range Rover and running her club Dolce and doing what? And suddenly you see her performing in COP, COP, COP uh, environmental uh, UN things in, in, in Germany or in New York or in Mandela concert. And you blah, 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 singing about women for 15 minutes. Who will play your song for 15 minutes? It's only Terry who does you those, those favors. I do your favor. I sit here wasting my Wi-Fi, wasting my time for 15 minutes playing a register of women's names who are sending money left and right, who are being slept with left and right. Hmm? And then you come here and you still give me dogo, 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 dogo. I beg, not me, oh, not me, oh. Me, I have to finish up with, hey, me, I have to clear things. I have to tell people the truth. Nonsense. So people, please, before you, you pick a fight with me, know me first. I don't live from YouTube. I wish I would. I really wish I would. I don't live here. I have information on my channel. Information. Take, take, take for free. Because I feel like that is my way of giving back. In this life, everybody is only one, one, one. We only have one uh, Apoyo Biggie. We only have one, uh, uh, who, one, one, one. I can't be a code. She has her own, she has her own uh, strengths. She has her, her own blessings. She has her own lane. She was created like that. That is her. She, that is her. I can't be her. I can only use my own way to also help. And me, the only way I can help is to, to make the musicians rich, even if they don't say thank you. Because I love art. I love music. I love it. I also have love acting and drama. That's why sometimes you see me looking dramatic. I acted in school. I was in dramatized dance. I was in drumming. I was in everything. Even cheering squad, I was in there. As long as I'm, I'm going out, I was in there. I have my money, yes. But my money is not enough to, to do philanthropy with. You cannot force me to be a Kodea. When she has a strength, support her and let her like we do support. Support her to, 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 to help more. But don't expect me also to now come starting and telling you to pay, to put pay bills so that you help the people of Nyando. By the way, Nyando is about to flood. You are not concentrating on Turkana alone. In, 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 in a month's time, in two months' time, Nyando will be overflowing. Then you will be asking Proud Chocolate to come and save the people in Nyando. Yet you elected leaders. I beg. Hmm? I do what I can. I only give what I can give. Because... What I have, it, it, I only remain with, with the, the, the few coins to extend to the, to the needy. Those who, if they ask you for money, you won't give them. Like now if I refuse to give like my mother, to buy for my mother uh, her diabetes uh, medicine. 
insulin, the needles, the, the, the sugar, what, all those things that she needs. If I refuse to give her because I want to impress you, and then I give all the money to Turkana, will you buy for my mother those things? Will not my mother just die there because now Terry wanted to impress the society? Do you get it? I cannot pretend. I pay school fees for many, many children who are orphans and who, if I put on Facebook for you to pay for them, you'll still tell me a whole Terry Nyangi, a whole proud chocolate in Germany is asking us to pay fees for orphans. Do you get me? So let's, me, I'll not pretend. And by the way, there are some people that I give, like now my mother, for example, when I give her, the rest that she remains after buying her medicine, she still gives to, to orphans in the village there. She pays school fees to kids in your CD primary. She, 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 she employs uh, uh, and pays maybe a herdsman and somebody to come and wash her clothes. Is it not giving? I give those who give, those who think I don't give. So that is also giving. They all has come from me. I'm the root of that money that you think I don't give. So let everybody just do what? Just be on their lane. So another thing I wanted to share with you before I close the show. You watch influencers on, 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 on YouTube, okay? And uh, suddenly they're having uh, makeup lines and uh, they're having this line and this line and that line and clothes line and whatever. I'm going to give you this information for free. If I don't tell you the information now and I die tomorrow, is it not me who will regret it? And is it not maybe my child who maybe will, will stay hungry one day because the mother did not come out with the information that would have helped her? One day I'll open up a GoFundMe page so you help me also to grow my channel. But me, I'm telling you for free. There's nothing special about starting a line. It is just using minds and using head and pushing and being a person who, who is ambitious. It is ambitiousness. All these things are done in China. In China, there are companies who are there to produce in masses. You don't even have to go to China to do that. Lip, liquid lipstick and this, all these lipstick that you hear, oh, I've said a line, oh, I've done this, I've done that. It is very okay, but everybody can do it. You know how to do it? I'll tell you now. So influencers, if you're here, listen to me and thank me, but for, um, above all, I'll appreciate if you also do me a favor by asking people to subscribe on my channel and share. If you want to start a makeup, makeup line, Okay, baby girls and baby boys. Okay, young girls, college girls. You first have to look at the market. Look, think of, when I wear this lipstick, for, like, like this one of mine, this red one of mine. I don't have it here, it's upstairs. How many people tell you it's lovely, you are looking good? I, how many people tell you you are really good in what you do? And if, you have been to, if, if people are telling you that, then you started a makeup channel on YouTube. How many have you influenced how many people keep telling you pushing you to start a makeup line how many people tell you to show them how you make up your makeup so if you find that there are many people that are good enough to, to start a channel then test them ask them if i start a if i start my makeup line would you buy it you know you have to build in your things first you know me i don't do these things because i have other things that i do that give me money i'm just sharing with you because i felt like you people are you are not informed okay so don't start telling me if you're saying that, why not do it? Me, I'm employed. I have a job, a bag. I, have, I get my cash every month. I, I'm okay. I'm, 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 all, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm only doing you extra. One day when I lose my job or when I retire, I'll do all that too. Or when I get more time, I can do that too. But before I die with the information, I'm telling you. Now, once you have enough people and you've re you're really convinced that when you start a makeup line, you'll not go on a loss. Then you go to Alibaba Express. Alibaba Express, oh. Alibaba Express is a website that is even connected to M-Pesa. Safaricom is already working with them because all those makeup producers, all these makeup you buy in, in, in the shops in Kenya, all these beauty shops, they're all coming from Alibaba. Oh. Let them not like to use that they're coming from England or USA. No. That is a website where you go and you make your profile. After you've made your profile, you'll have a lot of bottles, Bottles like this, my Vaseline, all types, one looking like that, one looking like that. Then you choose from a bottle you want. Once you choose the shape of the bottle you want, you choose what makeup you want and what color. You will do everything at the comfort of your ass in your house. And you'll produce a makeup line as long as you have the cash to pay. You will even design the bottle and you write your name plus your logo. All these things these guys are doing and making noise with them here. You can also do it. 
once everything is okay and you have money to pay for them and you put you don't just want in masses you can't order one you have to order them in like 10 or 20 so if you want to do the first test you order like 10 or you order like 20 but you have to have friends who will buy them from you so you don't waste your money so that you know if that thing is working or not once you see it's working you make an order you, 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 and then you patent your logo once you patent your logo and you don't even go to china like i told you they, they will be delivered to you at your doorstep and then you can now go to the internet and tell people oh i've signed a makeup line product chocolate bye 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 you can do it all you need is cash and audience followers that is how it happens so now from that you can start advertising for them and apply them on video and apply them and tell people to order people will order for two thousand bob three thousand bob according to how your head works these things are all on Alibaba Express. I've given this website a free advertisement because I felt like it is time to come out with this thing. People are, are, are thinking I'm hating, yet I'm just teaching. I cannot hate. Even that word hate is not even on my head. I just want people to share information. You know, we can do a lot of things together, but what will make you be rich or what will make you sell is your strategy, your, your ways, your brand, how you go about things. But things are the same. Okay, so maybe one day when you've now sold and now you're bigger, then you can now look for quality brands in USA or wherever. But everything begins in China, even clothes. You, there are many industries in, um, in China. You just order clothes. They're all on Alibaba Express. And they'll bring you, and then you sell T-shirts, printed logos. Here is written broad chocolate. Here is written broad chocolate. Here is written broad what? Everything is there in your hands. Thank me later. Until then, thank you for the subscription in advance. God bless you. I'm out of here. Proud chocolates. Finished business.